the spiritual teacher Ram Das said that his teacher charged him with the task of only speaking about God. And that would be a mindful practice. You have to be mindful. And the interesting thing about that practice of only speaking about God, in other words, if it isn't blessing something or if it isn't loving, don't say it at all. Imagine how that affects your life ultimately if you're only noticing or commenting on things that bring you closer to the divine of you. Can you explain the difference between mindfulness and meditation? Mindfulness is a kind of meditation. It's where you meditate with your eyes open often. You allow yourself to do things in life in a more deliberate and conscious and aware way so that every small thing becomes a meditation in itself. Many people eat mindfully as a practice because we eat all day, every day. And so when you begin to pick up say, a piece of uh, fruit, a strawberry, say, and notice it with your eyes and then smell it with your nose and then even listen to it and and then observe it in a way that's much more rich and full and deep. And then when you taste it mindfully, you taste it in all parts of your mouth, but you've never tasted a strawberry like this before. And That's just an example of mindfulness. You can walk mindfully. You can talk mindfully. Pay attention to your words because what you say will create the life around you. The more you are mindful of your words as speak only things that reflect your divinity. I know uh, one time I remember the, the spiritual teacher Ram Das said that his teacher charged him with the task of only speaking about God. And that would be a mindful practice. You have to be mindful. And the interesting thing about that practice of only speaking about God, in other words, if it isn't blessing something or if it isn't loving, don't say it at all. Imagine how that affects your life ultimately if you're only noticing or commenting on things that bring you closer to the divine of you, the the truth of you. Now your whole world is going to transform right in front of your eyes. So mindfulness is a practice of meditation, but it's an active meditation, really powerful and profound meditation, very, very complementary to the practice of sitting meditation. And I highly recommend adding mindfulness into your practice, especially as you become more and more resonant with with meditation and the practice of sitting in stillness. When you get up off the cushion or off the chair or off the couch, you want to bring that stillness into your everyday life. And mindfulness is a perfect and profound way to do that. I always stress the mindful not so much the mind as the fullness. Our inner being is in a state of absolute fullness. So when your mind full, you're paying attention to the graces around you. You feel fully connected to things. And it's not so much about monitoring your mind, which can you know sometimes wander and sometimes not be so full. It's about settling into your inner being, connecting in that space for your heart and in your core and letting yourself abide in fullness, even while you're active in everyday life.